let's get started on let's get started on the negative space again so remember last time I talked with you about how I need to warm up and how right now I'm just kind of cold you know I haven't been working on this and I'm not well connected at this point so I'm starting where there's no risk I am working the negative space around these bonds and finding my way back into the painting. I'm building texture as I go, deepening, darkening, warming up. I'm trying to see all the variations of color here. My mix is Burnt Sienna, Burnt Sienna Opera, and you don't see it, but down here it's Burnt Sienna and Cobalt Blue. I'm going to take a little of that and just drop it in to darken couple places spotted in there and while it's on my brush I'm adding it in other places Trying to see those soft edges with the fawns, legs. trying to get the feeling of fur. I'm using a number eight. And this happens to be a Princeton brush. Long, round, really just a continuation of what we did last week. I will tell you, so keep going in that regard. Now, let's start to take a look at what is going on here in the fur. So I can see my pencil lines, they're still there. This is, this has the opera in it. And now I'm moving in negative space with the opera and the
burnt sienna around the spots. I'm working the fur, sh trying to show some warmth here. I'm also trying to show the different variations of color in the fur. So I'll just point out some of these areas that I've already worked. Softening this line. And now moving into these areas of great commitment because what I do here is pretty important. I will readjust this color as I go. Softening the lines as I go. I like this brush because it's got a really good point on it. Adding a little opera to the ear. Trying to hold those places where the ear goes very blue. I'm going to add a little of the burnt sienna there just to A little burnt sienna and a little bit of that cobalt blue just cools it down a little bit. Those are beautiful eyes, aren't they?
There are multiple colors on this pretty little face and we don't want to leave any of them out. We're giving them somewhat of a base coat of the burnt sienna with just a tad of the blue. When we need to warm it up, we're going to go to maybe a yellow ochre and just drop it in there, particularly at the top. There'll be a lot of adjustments around the eyes. A little yellow ochre with the burnt sienna coming down. The neck area. I'm gonna add a little bit of opera and just drag this yellow ochre into this blue that we added last week. Oh my, I like that. <laughs> I like all those colors. Back to the yellow ochre, lots of warmth right here, which brings us to the focus of the painting, which is this sweet little face. So really working pale layers here. Emptying my brush when I can. Back to the burnt sienna and looking for a way down this side of the neck. And building texture as I go. Softening that line. And when in doubt, add a little water. Gee, just adding these pale layers gets me excited because you see the power of the layers just over top of some of these blue colors that we put down last week softening. I'm going to change brush it, brush it, brushes and go with something that has a little bit of um, strength to it to brush in some of the negative areas and soften some of the edges. Just to soften. You can do this also with a flat craft brush. This is just one of my old scepter gold brushes and it works pretty well for me. But look how that softened up. Yeah, I really like that. Again, bringing the negative space in and softening all of that makes a big difference for me. Lifting out right there. 
so I call it this, I call this the building mode. I'm building this painting. And I just kind of move in and out of it, adding and subtracting, lifting and pulling. Excuse me. Dropping in colors to strengthen, adding blue to all the mixes. There, I like that. And just a little bit more cobalt blue, I think will give it more excitement, but not that much. It's just taking a wet area and dropping in the paint until you get what you want. Okay, and pulling it downward back to those places where I'm protecting the light source. Moving between warm and cool. And this is all relatively cool. Going for more of a blue or look right here. I really like that. Trying not to go to the edges. That's a deliberate thing. I want to push everything toward the face. Soften as I go. All right. Now, before we finish with this video, I'm taking a very small brush. I'm going to dip it into the cobalt blue and then the burnt sienna. And I'm gonna start to see this eye. Now we talk about the hood in portraiture a lot. There is a hood here. These eyelashes and the hood. The lid. 
hovers over top of the eye socket. All right, we're gonna finish the other eye, which is in the shadow. It's very blue. And two, we see this hood. Beautiful eyes. And while we have this rich color on our brush, we're gonna start to work the nose. And these are highly um, committed areas where we wanna be you know, careful. While it's wet, we're gonna drop in the color. Remember, watercolor will dry 20% lighter. So it's a nice big puddle. we're gonna change the color a little. You could add a little cerulean, turquoise right in here. So I know that's not where, where I'm gonna end up, but we're gonna just kind of leave this, let this dry. Let's let it dry. In the meantime, we can drop some of that color right here. where it just is so bright. And we're gonna finish up here, shoring up this little area right here. a soft brush hard to pull it around here we go uh, we could while we have it we could just add it underneath the nose and let's call it done